let's do another episode on ASU G12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the August 2023 Science Paper 2. So in the previous episode, we covered this section A. So if you haven't seen those episodes, please go and check on our YouTube channel. We've got a playlist specifically that is focused on this paper. So let us now focus on section B by looking at question B1. So in this section, you are expected to answer all questions and there are nine questions. So question B1 A leads, define the term matter. So what is a matter? So just a matter of defining what matter is. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. So two things are critical in defining matter. Wherever you put it, it has to indicate that it has mass and occupies space. So matter is anything that has mass and occupies space that is what is known as matter so this matter is made up of very tiny particles which are so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes that is what is matter loma numeral 2 of m give the basic unit of matter contained in carbon dioxide so we need to give the basic unit of matter contained in carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is given by this formula, CO2. So the basic unit of matter in carbon dioxide is one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. So we have one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. That's the basic unit of matter contained in carbon dioxide. Why are we saying one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen? Because the basic unit of matter is atom. Hence, we are saying in this carbon dioxide, which is chemically covalent bonded, is made up of one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Question B. State two challenges that have been brought by activities done in chemical industries. So the question requires us to state two challenges that arises from chemical industries. The key one is the fact that production of the materials in the chemical industries also leads to production of undesired harmful byproducts such as the sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, which harms the environment. So the first one will be production of undesired byproducts such as sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide which arm um, the environment number two is increased vulnerability to chemical disasters so increased vulnerability to chemical disasters such as aging processing or defects designing from these plants can lead to say fire and explosions question c explain why it is not advisable for learners to enter the laboratory in the absence of a teacher 
so this is explain then we need in the absence of the teacher so there are a number of reasons that we can give so you can just think of one that is concise that you can uh, give so one you can say there could be dangerous equipment or chemicals left in the library hence entering the teacher would ensure that you are guided on what to do and not what to do number two you can think about to keep everyone safe in the lab a member of staff need to be present in this case the teacher is the member of staff then uh, the third one you can think about accidents can easily happen so it is best to minimize the risk by moving with the teacher so in that case we, we can just pick one that you think about so in this case i can say because there could be dangerous equipment or chemicals left in the lab hence it is important to enter within the teacher for or to ensure we say to ensure proper guidance so you can write it in that way the other thing that i said is this would ensure that everyone is kept safe in the library when there is a staff member who is a teacher then this also helps to minimize accidents because there will be proper supervision then also in case of an accident which might happen in the in, in the lab then every pupil will be protected because there was a, a someone to guide them so this is how you answer this question to get the full marks so thank you join me in the next episode as we look at question b2